behind every great hero lies a tale untold, a story shadowed by grandeur yet foundational to its essence. Aragorn, the valiant king, son of Arathorn, bearer of countless titles, emerges from the depths of Tolkien's lore as a figure of hope, valor, and destiny. But what of the silent strength behind the throne, the life-giver, the nurturer of hope itself? Today, we unveil the enigma of Gilreen, the mother of Aragorn, whose quiet yet pivotal role wove the fabric of Middle-earth's salvation. Join us as we journey beyond the celebrated tales of kings and crowns, delving into the heart of the unsung heroine whose legacy shaped the destiny of Gondor's greatest king. For in the whispers of the past, Gilreen's story beckons, a testament to the unseen, the profound, the cornerstone of Aragorn's fate. In the tapestry of Middle-earth, woven with tales of heroes and the echoes of ancient bloodlines, there lies the subtle yet profound story of Gilreen, the mother of Aragorn. Her lineage was noble, rooted in the ancient line of the Dunedain, a people renowned for their longevity, wisdom, and valor. The Dunedain were descendants of the lost kingdom of Arnor, their lives dedicated to safeguarding the realms of men against the lingering shadows of evil. Gilreen, known also as the Fair and the Wise, was born into this lineage of kings and guardians. Her father, Durhale, and her mother, Ivorwyn, were both of significant descent, carrying the foresight that was a rare gift among their people. This gift of foresight would play a crucial role in the shaping of her fate and, subsequently, the fate of all Middle-earth. The tale of her union with Arathorn, the father of Aragorn, is a tapestry of love entwined with prophetic doom. Arathorn, then the chieftain of the Dunedain, was a man of valor and strength, his heart set ablaze the moment he beheld Gilreen. Despite her youth, he sought her hand in marriage, a union that seemed destined by the stars yet shadowed by ominous foresight. Durhale, her father, initially opposed the match. His gift of foresight unveiled a grim future, foreseeing Arathorn's early demise, a vision that filled his heart with dread for his daughter's happiness. However, Ivorwyn, Gilreen's mother, perceived a deeper prophecy. She foresaw that through this union, hope would be born for the Dunedain, and that their son would rise as a beacon of light against the encroaching darkness. It was a hope not just for their people, but for the entire realm, a spark that would kindle the fire of resistance against the looming threat of Sauron. Yielding to this greater vision, Gilreen married Arathorn, and together they welcomed their son Aragorn into the world under the watchful eyes of stars and destiny. Yet, the shadow of Durhale's prophecy loomed ever close, and Arathorn's life was cut short by an orc's arrow, leaving Gilreen a widow with a young son destined for greatness. In her heart, the weight of her husband's loss and the heavy mantle of her son's future rested. Yet, she bore it with the grace and fortitude of the Dunedain, raising Aragorn in the hidden sanctuaries of Rivendell, under the watchful guidance of Elrond. Her wisdom, strength, and foresight molded Aragorn into the leader he was destined to become, embedding in him the values and virtues of his people and his lineage. Gilreen's story is a silent song, a melody of sacrifice, love, and foresight that echoed through the halls of time, shaping the destiny of Middle-earth. In her, the legacy of the Dunedain was embodied, a beacon of hope and a testament to the power of unseen strength and enduring love. In the aftermath of Arathorn's untimely death, Gilreen's world was shrouded in sorrow. Yet within her resided a resilience that would become her legacy. She stood at the crossroads of despair and duty, choosing a path lined with sacrifice for the greater good of her son and Middle-earth. Her decision to bring young Aragorn to Rivendell was marked by a mother's foresight and the heavy burden of her people's hopes. Rivendell, a sanctuary of peace and wisdom under the stewardship of Elrond, became Aragorn's new home. Gilreen's heart ached with the loss of her husband, but her resolve never wavered, understanding that Aragorn's safety and anonymity were paramount. In the seclusion of this elven haven, she watched her son grow, not as a future king, but as Estel, a name meaning hope a moniker given by Elrond to protect his true identity. This period was a testament to Gilreen's inner strength and her profound love for her son. Her sacrifices were silent, her struggles internal, but her impact was monumental. She imbued in Aragorn the essence of the Dunedain, their courage, their wisdom, and their unyielding spirit, all while bearing the solitude of her grief and the weight of imminent prophecies. Her foresight, inherited from her forebears, allowed her to foresee the significance of her son's hidden lineage. She nurtured the future king with tales of his ancestors, instilling in him a sense of duty and destiny, yet she also shielded him from the burden of his future until the time was right. 
Her wisdom ensured that Aragorn would mature into his role with the grace and strength needed to face the challenges ahead. Gilreen's influence on Aragorn extended far beyond the protective walls of Rivendell. Her spirit, her teachings, and her very essence were woven into the fabric of his being. As Aragorn grew into a man, the values she instilled in him bravery, wisdom, and a profound sense of responsibility became the cornerstones of his character. Her role in his upbringing shaped not only the future king, but the very course of Middle-earth's history. Her guidance was a beacon that led Aragorn through the shadows of uncertainty and into the light of his destiny. She was the architect of the king he would become, molding him with a quiet yet unyielding strength. Gilreen's final words to her son, I gave hope to the Dunedain, I have kept no hope for myself, resonate with a poignant depth. They were a reflection of her life's journey, a path marked by sacrifice, resilience, and an unwavering dedication to the future of her people. These words were not just a farewell, but a powerful testament to her legacy, encapsulating the essence of her contribution to Aragorn's fate and the larger saga of Middle-earth. Her departure from this world marked the end of an era, but her legacy lived on through Aragorn. The hope she spoke of was not just a reference to her son's given name, but also to the enduring spirit she fostered in him, the hope for peace and freedom that he would ultimately bring to fruition. In the end, Gilreen's life and sacrifices were a beacon of light for her son, guiding him toward his ultimate destiny as the king who would unite the realms of men and lead them into a new age of prosperity. In the wake of Gilreen's passing, the world of Middle-earth continued to unfold, steeped in the looming shadows of impending war and the flickering light of hope that her son Aragorn embodied. Her death marked not just the loss of a mother, but the end of a silent vigil, a watchful eye that had guarded the heir of Isildur through his most formative years. As Aragorn stepped forward into the uncertainties of his destiny, the lessons and love of his mother resonated within him, shaping his path, his choices, and his ultimate identity. Aragorn's subsequent journeys were a testament to the strength and wisdom inherited from Gilreen. Her foresight and sacrifices, though silent and unseen, became the undercurrents guiding him towards his fate. From the wilds of the north to the very gates of Mordor, every step, every decision, and every act of courage was a reflection of the legacy bestowed upon him. The qualities that defined his character, his leadership, his compassion, and his unyielding resolve were echoes of Gilreen's enduring influence. Her legacy was a beacon that guided Aragorn through the trials and tribulations that led to his crowning as the King of Gondor. The very essence of his kingship, the reunification of the ancient realms, and the restoration of the throne were deeply intertwined with the hope and the promise Gilreen had nurtured within him. Her vision of a future where the shadows of the past were dispelled by the light of a new era found its realization in her son's ascension. Gilreen's role in Tolkien's legendary saga is a profound testament to the power of maternal influence, the strength derived from sacrifice, and the indelible impact of quiet yet steadfast resolve. Her story, though not front and center in the tales of Middle-earth, is pivotal in understanding the depth of Aragorn's character, the weight of his destiny, and the triumphs that define the narrative's climax. Her presence, woven subtly through the fabric of the story, remains a cornerstone of Aragorn's legacy and the broader lore of Tolkien's world. In exploring the life and legacy of Gilreen, we uncover layers of richness in Tolkien's creation, appreciating the nuanced interplay of characters that operate behind the grand vistas of epic battles and heroic quests. Her story is a reminder of the unsung heroes who shape the destinies of those who stand in the light. So, as we close this chapter on the silent yet formidable Gilreen, let us carry forward the lessons of her legacy. And if you've been captivated by the untold stories of Middle-earth, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more deep dives into Tolkien's universe, where every character, no matter how seemingly minor, plays a role in the vast, interconnected tapestry of this mythical world.